So guys, it's Justin from Made Geek, and I'm gonna bring you another tutorial. Um, this one is actually gonna be a fairly simple one. Uh, I've given you, given, given, given. I've given you the tutorial from Audacity on Windows. Um, I had a user actually message me on Twitter saying that the, uh, the version of Audacity that's on the OS X platform is a little bit different because you can't actually uh, you can't just go in hit low pass and there's there's some extra steps that you have to take so I'm gonna do a tutorial on that today um, once again it's just gonna be a simple straightforward video if you have any questions as you've done before just drop them below in the comment section and I'll, I will get back to you as quickly as possible I just wanted to let you know that I'm back creating base boost. Um, as you can see, I've, I've already done one here, you know, Migos and Marshmallow for the Danger Song. So let's go ahead and move in on Audacity and get everything rolling here. I'm going to actually go ahead and clear out my Audacity and I'm going to bring in, a nor you know, a new, new Audacity file. And uh, you can actually, a lot of people don't know that you can actually just drag and drop videos into Audacity and it will go ahead and split the audio file from the video. And uh, to create the base boost, base boost in Audacity on here, just hit Command C, click on the blue blue audio section here, then click on the gray section underneath it, hit Command V, just as you've done before on the Windows version. Click Tracks, Stereo Track to Mono, and that's going to bring that down there. And so just, you know, as before, let's go ahead and hear the song without, you know, without having the base boost in it right now. Trying to get demons up out of me demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries Deceasing opponents so properly Alright, there's there's already some bass in this song uh, But we're going to go ahead and amplify it Because it's going to sound awesome when we do So just highlight your top track By double clicking on the audio file Go into effects And as you can see, we don't have a low pass filter option here I have it here uh, I actually have to enable it Now I'm going to show you how to do that Just click on manage and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find high pass and so the high, right underneath high pass will be low pass or right above it it varies and so just highlight that option and then click enable i'm not going to go ahead and enable it because i already have it enabled but just click the enable button here uh, hit ok i'm going to hit cancel because like i said i already have it enabled then go into the effects and you're going to click on au low pass it's going to be right here at the bottom it's going to bring up this box right here. Click the white dot. Stay below 96. There's a line, 96 line right here. Stay below that. Drag it till you can get it to 80. And then go up on the resolution till you get to about 2.0. 2.26 is fine. And to save that preset so you don't have to keep dragging that dot, just click here, save preset. I already have one saved, MG Base. If I could find a way to share that with you guys just so you could download it and go, I will. Uh, I'll get to that at a later time and just hit apply. And it's going to apply that low pass filter to the song at the very top. As I've said before, guys, please don't go into effect, hit bass and treble, and then boost the bass that way. It's going to sound like absolute crap. Uh, I said that before on the Windows version, and I'm going to reiterate it now because it actually does. Once it's applied, you're going to notice that the WAV file has changed. Just close it, and let's go ahead and hear that bass. Trying to get demons up out of me. Demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents. There's a little bit of clipping in there. To fix that, just drag the gain of the normal song down to about five. Trying to get demons up out of me. Demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Sounds a lot better. Um, and just play with those. Play with the gain and the treble. You know, or the gain here, not the treble, but the gain. And uh, don't pan any center, because if you pan the center volume anywhere, it's going to sound, you know, higher on one side than it does on the other. But that's it, guys. That's that simple tutorial, like I said, I was going to bring you. You know, on the Mac, sometimes people will also have a little bit of problem with their output. I always output my files on Mac when I export the audio. Um, I always output it as AIFF or F, A, A, F, A, I don't know. Somebody comment below what that's called. I'll just call it AIFF. But, um, and, and it's easier for me because I'll bring it up in iMovie 
And uh, once it's brought up in iMovie, you can't just drag and drop any audio file into there like you can prior. I, I used to, I was editing on iSkySoft when I would edit in my videos. And uh, with iMovie, you can't just drop in any random audio file. So I'm going to go ahead and export that. And yeah, it's it's fine. It's gonna it's gonna render to a dual track. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and not save that. And it's gonna go ahead and go to my uh, my home screen here. And I'm gonna drag that down in here. And then I'm gonna drag in the photo. I always make mine just a little bit longer than the audio track so I can keep track of the time. Um, and I always have it as a still fitting image. And let's go and see what it looks like. Switching my thoughts on bipolar. I stare in the eyes of a cobra. Say you won't smoke, come get it. Come on. You wanna play dumb, I'm with it. With it. I'm about to take over the city. I came with my comedic game with it. There you go, guys. Um, once again, it's Justin from Made Geek bringing you guys another simple tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, just drop them down below, and I will see what I can do for you. I have no problem emailing you guys. I have no problem, you know, if you guys ended up needing to get my cell phone number, text call, whatever. I have no problem helping you guys. It's a community-driven project, and I always love my community. So if you guys have any issues at all, please let me know below, and we will figure out one way or another of how getting it fixed.